Through the Eyes of a Lagos Boy is a solo exhibition by Bolaji Alonge at the Quintessence Gallery in Lagos. This is not the first time contemporary photographer Bolaji Alonge is capturing the commercial city of Lagos. In fact, it has become his forte. Bolaji Alonge is a well-known Nigerian contemporary photographer. He's been on the scene for quite a while now. Uh, this is a major solo exhibition that is having a quintessence, and we're very proud of his works. I mean, uh, it's about seeing Lagos through his eyes. You know, and Lagos is such a beautiful city uh, for me, organized chaos. You know, and uh, the black and white photography that you see, you know, brings it out so you can see the form, you can see the people, you can see his own interpretation, you can see the bridges, you know, you can see the elements that make Lagos what it is. And I think that uh, it just goes into uh, the archives on uh, the history of Lagos. And I think that's what Bolaj has been able to capture very vividly in his lens. But this time round, this widely traveled photographer has also captured many other cities and he shows all the adventure in his recent body of works exclusively done for the Quintessence Gallery in Lagos. It's a black and white uh, collection of photos that I have taken around Nigeria, around Lagos, around the world and I am sharing with everyone and the audience and um, it's a fantastic platform to be able to share it here with quintessence, using quintessence to reach out to the world. It's about what I see around me. It's about my travels. It's about the things I have seen. Now, for example, there is the Niger Bridge. It's one of the photos we used in our publicity. Niger Bridge is very important to so many people, especially people from the eastern part of Nigeria. Niger Bridge is the gateway into the east of Nigeria, especially when you are coming from the west. It is a very important place to everyone here. And Eyes of a Lagos Boy sees this and is showing it to the rest of the world. I mean, some of these things are things we even have around us and we don't pay so much attention to. Bolaji takes the audience on a trip to see interesting people and places without having to move an inch. All they need do is take a look at these pictures and that's enough to whet their appetite just in case they never had a wanderlust. I've been taking photos all my life. I'm more of the person you can call a self-trained photographer. Unfortunately, I studied public relations and advertising, mass communication from the University of Lagos. So I've been able to like really, you know, technically, you know, add it to the knowledge I have, which we can call a talent. So mainly, what inspires me is my society. Lagos itself inspires me. Everything I see around me inspires me. And I, every, a lot of times, even especially times when I don't take my camera with me, when I go out, I see things I should take my camera to take photos of. It's a beautiful country. But a lot of times we forget about our environment in our struggles. So mainly, what inspires me are those things people really don't even pay attention to. I take pictures of all of it, and I bring it to people. The boots, for example, is something most people wouldn't really pay attention. Okay, yeah, it looks interesting, but again, it should be shown to the world. And we must appreciate it, and it's a part of us, and it's from here. So that's what inspires me. My environment inspires me.
themed Eyes of a Lagos Boy, the exhibition reveals a collection of black and white images expressive of the historical, cultural, and aesthetic norms of a commercial city from the view of this Lagos boy. Black and white photography really brings out, makes photos more artistic. I think it, there's a message here by mixing also uh, images of Lagos and other places that um, the beauty of Lagos is as exemplary as the iconic images we know of New York. You know, like every city has its, uh, has its, has its, uh, um, I would say, has its charm and has its undeniable character. And I think that's what uh, Bolaji tried to capture here. Mainly, it's about my eyes. I'm a Lagos boy, and I have my eyes. I'm using the lens to reach out to the world. So I am replicating the things I see, using the lens of my camera, showing it with the world. And it's just not enough to share things on social media. It's good to bring the product to the people. So this is why I bring these pictures, and I show you. You can see it. You can feel it and you can touch and you can be a part of the experience of the Eyes of a Lagos Boy. So Eyes of a Lagos Boy is about what I see and showing it to you, showing Africa to the world and the world to Africa. I'm an exhibiting photographer, so you know you always look for the angles to tell your story from. I had an exhibition in New York in February of this year and the theme of that one was different from this one. So it is from theme to themes. Uh, naturally, I'm a colorful person. I love color. But this one especially, it's a collection of black and white photos for quintessence. And the thing about black and white, black and white is art. Color is taken, when color is taken out of a photo, it's not about the color to distract you anymore. It's about you stopping to really look at that picture and to reflect. So that's the power of black and white photography. And this is why we are collecting black and white photography for quintessence this time around. This globe trotter is a graduate of mass communication from the University of Lagos. Instead of grabbing a pen, he's been using his camera to tell stories and let people understand that the world indeed is your oyster. I'm reaching out to young Africans that um, you could actually do many other things with your life. You could actually pick up the camera and be a photographer. It's a huge industry. You could be anybody. You could be anything. You could use the camera to communicate. In communities, there are places where people cannot read. But when you show pictures, it communicates to them. So mainly my message to young Africans is to exploit photography. Look at the field of photography. It is big enough and you could actually make a life out of photography. That is mainly what photo, um, Eyes of a Lagos Boy is about. Interesting to have a peek into Bology's thoughts and we'll also let you in on what to expect on the next edition of the show. Coming up next time, a solo exhibition of Bolaji Ogunwa in the nation's capital, Abuja, where he displays his recent works of art. My art is pregnant with meaning. I don't just paint for people to hang in their houses. I paint to make statements. Plus, a stage performance that fuses music, dance, and drama. See that and more on the next episode of Art House. That's the program this week. Many thanks for spending time with us as we look forward to hearing from you on any of our online platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a lovely day.